This is a reproduction of an SS NCO sword. Uh, during the war, three different types of SS sword were issued. Not the dagger, the sword. There were two officers, uh, warrant officer and a non-commissioned officer. This one, with the SS runes in the middle of the handle and the D-shaped guard, identified as an NCO sword. Now the SS being the SS, anything to get money, they had to, um, when members of the SS qualified for a sword or a dagger, they had to buy them with their own money. Because unlike the army, the Navy, the Air Force, when the guy passed out as an officer, he didn't automatically get his decorative sidearm, he had to actually buy them. This one, it's a known reproduction. What makes it instantly identifiable as a reproduction is that the SS runes are kind of, instead of being SS straight, they're actually at an angle. So they're actually the wrong way, so that needs taken off, turned around. Um, so it, it's a known reproduction that was available on eBay for about 20 quid. The originals are about two and a half thousand pounds if you can find them. It's got wire trottle on it. Uh, it's it's full length. It's an it's a non-live blade. It's just decorative. But uh, it does the job as a war hanger because I've never actually had an original one. What we'll do is D-shaped handle, NCO, and doors. Runes on there, which if I hold it like that, you'll see they're actually at the wrong angle. It should be straight up. Other than that, it's a decent reproduction. The uh, the actual scabbard again, it's a faithful reproduction, metal one. So, so yeah. So, like I say, I've had a few Luftwaffe swords. Um, I've got the Imperial German Army one without without the, the handle on it, so it's just a blade. But that's yet another decorative piece. SS NCO sword. D-shaped guard, give it away as an NCO sword there. Strictly speaking, uh, sword fencing was a traditional Imperial German thing and a Prussian thing. But by the time of the Third Reich, it was a little bit frowned upon. But pre-war, quite a lot of SS officers did engage in sword fencing. But these were merely worn as badges of rank. They weren't actually used. And by the time the war came, you very rarely saw them. They tended to opt for the the SS dagger instead. So there's, there's not a huge survival rate among genuine ones. But there are quite a lot of repros and for 20 quid it does the job. So we'll see what we can do for another video. Bye for now.